brothers and comrades! Are you ready to take on Mother Russia? So complete! What an intro. What an intro. I actually can't wear the headset with this hat on, unfortunately, so look at my hair, it's a mess. It's hot as fuck in that thing. <laughs> Yo, what is going on everybody on YouTube watching? We are currently going to start a new game of Metro Exodus. I am live streaming this on Twitch, so I may be talking to chat here and there just to let you guys know. I'm also going to be doing commentary, of course, but I am live streaming on Twitch, and so... I am going to be talking to chat here and there. Uh, I'm taking the VOD from Twitch and I'm just going to be splitting it up into parts for a series so you guys can expect that. But yeah, um, I just finished Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light this week. They were both fantastic games and I've been really looking forward to Metro Exodus for a very long time. It is easily one of the best graphically looking games ever in like the history of PC gaming and then it is also a very good story as well. It is a survival horror game as well in a, a post-apocalyptic sort of scenario and it's overall just a really really good game series. I absolutely love 2033. Last Light I loved even more. Last Light was a better overall story in my opinion and I'm really excited to kick back off where we left off after Last Light with Exodus and I'm really excited and so without further ado we are going to hop into a new game. I already played the first chapter or so but the fps was being all weird so i changed around some settings game should be crystal clear now i turned the crosshairs off and hints and stuff like that off um i still have partial parts of the hud on but i wanted to be fully immersed in the game so some parts of the hud are on but like crosshair and hints and stuff like that are turned off so i can be fully immersed but yeah i'm really excited to get into it so we are going to start a new game and we are going to play our first uh playthrough on hardcore because I just got done playing 2033 and Last Light and so I played both of those on normal and it was really easy and so we're going to go through this playthrough on hardcore. Don't want to go through on Ranger Hardcore because Ranger Hardcore is a little too hard. They turn off HUD completely. Enemies are more aware and stuff like that and combat is really more difficult and so I don't, don't want to play on Ranger Hardcore but I think I can handle just normal hardcore so we're going to go with that. For our first playthrough and i'll probably try ranger hardcore eventually on a, another playthrough but yeah i'm really excited to get into this so we're gonna watch this intro again i, I already did but it's really good before the war i remember that we used to be different we used to live up there on the surface we used to be the masters of the whole world we built gigantic cities of glass and steel we crossed the oceans at will, and we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. F in the chat, boys. Kind of pisses me off these uh, cutscenes are in 30 FPS because they take the cutscenes that they use for the console versions. <laughs> they do that with a lot of games though. By the last war. Only 50, managed to survive underground with the surface poisoned, burned and teeming with horrible monsters. One day the radiation on the surface might subside and our grandchildren or their grandchildren might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. The Order. Who remembers Basically, them? Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had. The soundtrack's so together, good. And worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it. 
But, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, our numbers dwindling by the day. This is such a cool intro. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Artyom never, le never loses hope. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Here we go. This game is so beautiful. All the Metro games are beautiful, but to see one like... I can't believe they like created a whole new engine just for this game. It's so good. I hope they do because I know Last Light and or Last Light and 2033 were made on the same engine. I'm curious to see if they'll they'll make another game right after Exodus on the same engine in like another year or two because that's what they did with uh Last Light after 2033. They just made another game within a few years on the same engine and then this one because they created a whole new engine for this game it took them like a few like what five plus years to make this game because they created a whole new engine and we're right into it baby oh it's so cool Yeah, I've been wondering how the story's gonna end too, because the, the last two games were amazing and they had great endings as well. I'm sure this game has multiple endings too, just like the others it has to. God. The textures and everything are just so beautiful. And here we go, baby! <laughs> oh, feels good to be back. Immersion. And I love games that do the just the the ambience. Like no no uh background music or anything. All we can hear right now is just the ambience. Makes uh Immersion so much better. Wow. Nineteen seconds on time. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's just beautiful to look at too. Just the textures and everything. It's just a beautiful game. They really want you to make See, that's not okay though. Look at the snow just hanging off the edge. Come on. <laughs> Got to point out the faults, I'm sorry. No, it, it really is a beautiful game. And then look at the animation right here. Ah! I love it. That's so cool. <gasps> ah! 
Ah! Get her off me! Fucking spiders. I feel like I'm in Australia. Shots fired. I just spit all over my fucking pop filter. <laughs> Coming to Birmingham, Bur Birmingham, Birmingham, Birmingham. Ah! I'm sorry. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Get your fucking ugly ass out of my face! Little bitch. Ooh. This is where I turned off hit markers too, because the hit markers were really annoying. They were killing my immersion. Not a fan of hit markers in this game. Bring it, fuckers. What's this thing? I didn't see this last time. Well, that's pretty cool. They didn't have that in the first game. Hmm. First or second game, my bad. What the fuck? Where are we at on this? 19 seconds? Oh shit. Gang gang cuz It was just like the E3 trailer, same animation and everything. That's pretty cool though. The collector's edition I got. Oh fuck. Yeah! Get your ass off of me. Oh, another one. Idiot! That guy's name was Idiot. Do you see that in the subtitles? Look at it, Idiot! <laughs> uh, its eye is still moving. The collector's edition I got, though, I was gonna say, is that same animation of him stabbing the, uh, the Watchman when it's poking its head through the door. It's a statue of that, and I bought it, and it should be coming in the mail here pretty soon. 
Oh, fuck my pupil. <laughs> oh, what's up, Marcus? Yeah, this game is beautiful. All the Metro games are always beautiful. They do such a good job. So is D6 still a thing in this game? I wonder. I wonder if D6 is still where our HQ is. The faces are such an upgrade too from the previous engine. The previous engine, the faces always looked weird, but it was an old game, so it made sense. But everything else about the game was fantastic graphics-wise. But this game, they actually looks like they fixed the face. <laughs> the faces actually look more human. <laughs> Ooh, baby! Like even the ha look at her hair. The hair looks fantastic. And that's Anna from the other games, or she was only in Last Light. Like her face, like her eyes and everything looks so good. What if next time you don't return from the And surface? the lip syncing. Ooh! There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only I got us. the same dog tag as her. I got it at uh, PAX West. It has like the whole. Yeah, you can't see it. It's got like the same Metro design on it. Miller! 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 But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? Miller looks even more badass than the other games. So, get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please. Promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Give me a kiss goodbye. She thick. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Hmm. Well, you know what? That's a risk I'm willing to take, buddy, because I never lose hope, because I'm Artyom. Art Artyom. Yeah. Russia. Oh, notes. Hey, we got notes just like the other games. Sick. Half-torn notebook, August 11th. We've arrived. So far, so good. Just a couple of rats. The guys are unloading the trolley, August 12th. Not enough people to cover the old roadblocks. Koila went to get some more volunteers, but for now, we'll just cover the platform in the airlock. It looks like Mikalik isn't going to finish the repairs anytime soon. The mechanism is rusted and solid. August 13th, shot a couple of watchmen. The beast got inside unnoticed under the steps. Cunning fuckers. The airlock drive is dead. Mikalik says he can't promise anything. We're running short on filters. Time to improvise, I guess. We'll just weld the gate shut with a sheet of steel and think later. August 14th, there's a stampede of watchmen up there. They haven't attacked yet, but still. Kolia brought the welding apparatus, but we can't even start the work. As soon as we make the slightest noise, they start howling up there. For now, we decided to on setting up some traps. Impatient file. 
Artyom. Oh, look, we got his last name. I don't know if we ever got his last name before. Born in 2009. So that's when the bomb... Or no, no, no. The bombs dropped way later. Never mind. Blood type. Well, not uh, way later, but a few years later because he was a kid when they dropped. Admitted on. Come on, it's the third time. <laughs> Diagnosis, radiation, sickness, relapse, light form. Treatment, blood. Blood transfusion. Bed rest. No going to the surface for a year at least. Huh. We'll just see about that. That is weird. Miller... At the, the canon ending, I'm pretty sure, of Last Light left Miller in a wheelchair. I thought, like, he got his leg cut off or something and he was stuck in a wheelchair, but maybe that wasn't the canon ending? I don't know. Maybe they'll talk about it. What's up, dudes? Don't give me that look. Just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contact what the hell? even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well. It's your life. Yeah, man. I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Sparta! Look at the book, too! That's so cool, how they put the books in the games again. Metro 2034. What up, kid? I believe you. Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? Thank God they actually changed the kid voice actors too. They were so annoying in the other games. It was like the same voice actor for every child in the game. Stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. Crazy? I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. Alright, well, you two can sit here and rot then, you stuck up bitch. I'm going back to the surface, and I'm gonna live. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. What up, gamers? Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, what up? You, you got a nice beard. Artyom, what up, bald guy? How are you, friend? <laughs> it's the I'm bald Asian friend. guy from Game of Thrones. For a, Artyom, a few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, how are you you're, you're, just just now, huh? you're just stop crowding him. Anna's hot as fuck. Yeah, yeah, men, manly, Russia, vodka. That guy didn't have a Russian accent. That was an American accent. Where's he from? One week later. Hey, we got a fresh gas mask. And more of nothing. Wifey. Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. Demons. Why, uh, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. Hey, we're only by Moscow. We haven't even left Moscow, so I don't know what you're talking about. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. 
I still I still got a minute 50 what do you mean let's go I'll, I'll replace it when it goes down to zero come on thank you Jesus I am not wasting a minute 30 of filter <laughs> crazy pitch have you been to all these ruins all the destruction and Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. It's an elevator. If this is how it looks Nothing now, in here imagine though. Imagine how the rest of the world looks. Hold up. I didn't go in here when I the first time I played through this first chapter. What do you shoot? Oh, okay. It was getting too comfortable here. What are we at? Oh, okay. That was just the minute timer. Is there nothing in here? What's the point of coming in here, then? What? You'd think there'd be a note or something in here. Eh, whatever. Hmm. God, this game is beautiful. Max would be a great Russian. Just drink vodka, dude. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? <laughs> a flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not simple enough. Careful. At least it held. Okay, now I need to replace my filter. There, now we got another three minutes. Oh, there we go, filter. Oh shit. Boobies. Oh, there's a filter here. Nice. Nice. I'm playing on hardcore now too, and I noticed that the filters only give you one minute. I think on normal they gave you five minutes. So that's different. Just need to be way more scarce. I need to make sure that I'm only replacing my filter when that timer reaches zero. Not a minute 30 like this bitch wanted me to. Jesus. That'd be such a waste. God, I love this game. Oh. oh, there's another filter. Oh, and a note. Vegetable oil, uh, one liter, clava from the main office, my ring, sugar. It's just a... My earrings and Koala's coin collection. Huh. It's like a shopping list? That's the one minute timer. God, this game is beautiful. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. So, the pack is here. So, do Wait, hang on. I want to get like a photo mode. Let me see if I can like. Camera. 
filters. Holy shit. Oh, there's an overlay too? Oh, that's sick. Dusty, blood, frost, rain, old film, postcard, gas mask, night vision, hide UI, I'm assuming, and then just screenshot. That's really cool. I like that. The photo mode is so cool. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Hmm. Oh, more filters and ammo. Let's go. Let's all go to the old folks' home. Oh shit, that's a demon. How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It yeah, man. Hold up, what's back here? I like exploring, okay? Ooh, look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm fucking around. I just love this, this is so cool. Get your cute ass up there. I'm having flashbacks to <laughs> last light when we were climbing up the ladder and she told me to not look at her ass. Good times. Oh! I didn't hear shit. Now that's what I call a blizzard. Can't see a thing. Or here. Let's switch to radios. What the Artyom, are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? It's Thomas! Thomas the train! Let me tell you what, I did not like him smashing through the wall in a last train. light. And the demons are following it. Shit, what do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Yeah, let's start sprinting. Look, it's our guys from the order. It looks like they're chasing that train too. The Psijic Order? They're from Skyrim. Oh, <laughs> Yeet! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did. Come on, get in. Get your cute ass up there. What? Oh! Traitors! I'm kidding. I knew that was going to happen too. <laughs> I played up until like this point and then I restarted the game earlier. So. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oof. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one you know, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We, we aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. Huh? We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. Poggers. I was we right. Of course I was right. I'm a we genius. We were the only survivors. She's a cutie. She is a cutie. We'll tell the whole metro about this. She looks so different from the other games, though, because she was in Last Light, and she looks her fate because they, the faces were so different on that en engine. They're, they made them so much better. Hey, She's hot now. Oh, firing squad. She's just an old lady. Hey, asshole! Brr! Oh, Roscoe! Roscoe, no! What are you doing? Roscoe! Roscoe! Bad puppy! What a... Oh! Oh, shit. 
They done shot me up, cuz. Oh, that's fucked. Alright, this is where I changed all my settings and restarted the game. So I already knew all that was gonna happen too. I'm sorry. Alright, now my chat's getting mad at me because I'm reacting to shit we just did. Now I have no idea what's in front of us. And we have no gas mask. We're dying. <gasps> what is our filter at? Oh, that's a fresh filter? Okay, makes sense. Poor bastards. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright. And we have no weapon. They took our weapon. Sick. So... Picking up that ammo and filters was probably did absolutely nothing for us because they took our ammo and filters and our, all of our weapons. Sick. We're lit. We literally have nothing. Oh, there's some... Is that health? Yeah, that's a med kit right there. Yeah, let me just... Hang on. Put some drugs in myself real quick. <laughs> and we're all back to normal. Look at that. Easy peasy. You can actually see your feet in this game. In the other Metro games, you couldn't. Oh, that's sweet. Is that the train? Whoops. Crumpled letter. Sivrawoja! We made it! You can drive almost to Remoski. Just say, say, say away from the highway. It's all blocked with scrap. From there, you'd have to walk, of course, at least across the ring road. The place is alive, all right. The guys have in their army are healthy as bulls. They're talking, they're taking us to a filtration camp, but I don't think they'll keep us there long. A couple of days tops, then they'll find some work for us. I already heard the guards talking of being short on hands. I say you guys drop everything and come over here. I'll get everything ready. I'll send this letter as soon as I can. Dad. Uh, F's in the chat for dad. Look at that. God damn, this game is beautiful. I've got it on ultra graphics too, and I'm able to run this game in 144p, which is surprising. Or 144p, what did I just say? 144 FPS. 144 hertz monitor. This game is beautiful. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Did my gas mask just crack for no reason? What the hell? One forty-four P is so lit. Shut up. Is that train slowing down for us? Oh, so the air's all right underground, but not a... Oh, okay. Whatever. I ain't gonna argue. Please tell me this guy had a gun. The hell is that? A camera? Oh, it's a light. Oh, you actually have to activate the ladders? I'm not gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Whatever. Attention! The turntable is switching off. Oh, it's the train. Okay, the train was docking. Look at that. And not the kind of docking that you guys are thinking of, you fucked up bastards. It's the Polar Express! Sneaking around, underground, we're gonna find ourselves a gun. And then we're gonna kill all the Nazis and Communists, cause they suck. 
it to the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Hey, mister. How can they? What can I do? Hey, mister. Cost me a quarter. No, no, calm down. What? Do I look like a watchman? Human. Yes, dumbass. And, uh, how did you? Shh. Oh, oh my God! It's you. She's been screaming about. What? Alive. What up? You came for her. Huh? And, uh, all right. Oh, the girl? You mean Anna? Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I need a weapon. I can't take you to the main entrance. Give me gun. Gimme, give gimme. Give Pay what you owe, dude. From the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we've both done for. <laughs> Turn off fuses. Sorry, I have to. <laughs> I turned off the lights. Oh. I like how you can see my breath too. That's so cool. That's a really good, really cool attention to detail there. Wait, he said don't. Am I supposed to be coming? Move crouched. It's quieter that way. No fucking shit, dude. See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Up the ladder we go. Alright. What are they doing? Maintenance on the train? What? What faction is this? These aren't the Reds or the Nazis. You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? Take what down? Oh, that guy? Oh yeah, easy peasy, dude. I played 2033 and Last Light all in the past few days. We got this. Yeah. No shit. Is there nothing else up here? God damn it. How do you get up here so quick? Wait, wait a moment. Wait, wait, can we actually throw shit in this game? You couldn't do that in the other ones. Right. Now throw it. Hold up. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. You can actually throw shit in this game. Woo! You couldn't do that in the other metros. That pissed me off. Because it's such a highly stealth... It's such a big game that emphasizes on stealth. And you can't throw anything to distract people. So it pissed me off. I just came here for some good train docking, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's Anna. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey! Fuck you, one beat. Huh? 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 Yeah. Skiing vage. Si vaga. Shushka vushki. Shushka vonke. I'm a badass. <laughs> he looks so tired. Baby! I love you. You know I never dip on some booty. Holy shit. You! Don't move. Morons! We are at war! One death won't be enough for you now, 
What is this equipment? This is the universal broadband radio jammer. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone. And them from hearing us. What? Look at all the lights lighting up. <gasps> Other people! Do you hear that, Artyom? You were right all along. Do you see? This motherfucker. Can we punch him? Knock him out? Look at all the other blips! <gasps> J Japan? South Africa? Australia? New Zealand? Hey, look, there's my house. The war is still going on? The one that... Oh, no, 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 this is my buddy. Wait, hang on, I got a note. Official note. In reply to your request from 2303, I can report that the number of personnel at the external permitters radio jamming station is at... Which is special guard detail personnel that's supplied with extra means individual protection and maintenance workers. I don't like how the notes aren't RTM's words like they were in the other games. I thought that the fact that like every single note you picked up in the other games was all RTM's commentary on what was going on. And I thought that was really cool. None of these notes are like that. And I don't like that. But whatever. So that's crazy. So the war is still going on. That's a big kind of plot twist. The war where the nukes dropped that destroyed the world war is still going on, and it looks like these guys had a radio jammer set up just so no one could communicate to the outside world. That's crazy. What faction is this, then? Is this, the, like, the Russian government or something? Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. Oh, my man. We must get out before they recover. Revolvers, baby! Yeah! Woo! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. Oh, I'm operating. Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Oh, it's the train engineer? Oh, you gotta come with us then. We still in this train, baby! So I have to get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had. Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Be careful. It's the future war call. Alright, baby, here we go. Wait, is he come? Oh, wait, no, he said he'd explain. Got it, got it, got it. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So the light on my watch glows blue when I'm in light, so enemies can see me, essentially. Alright, here we go. God damn, the graphics, dude, are so good in this game. It's the Cosmodrome from Destiny 1. They don't see anything. Okay, so the way the command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. Artyom, I'm changing position. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Well done. You're almost at the uh, I'm gone. I'm gone. Wait, what is this thing? Well, this one has a seat. 
Whoops. This one has a sight. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Wait, this thing only has three bullets? Hold up. How many bullets does this thing have? Only three bullets as well? This thing better be fucking powerful. Alright, what I was gonna say, though, is that the endings... So, every Metro game has multiple endings, and they're all based on how many people you kill. If you spare people's lives, you'll uh, get a good ending. If you kill a lot of people, you get a bad ending. So I'm going to try to get the good ending, so we're going to kill as little many as people as we can. Like, if we don't have to kill, like, right there where we snuck past, we're not going to kill. And that's how we get the good ending. That's how it worked in all the other Metro games. Ooh, knives? Okay, okay. Let's actually switch to that real quick. Switch to my throwing knives. Another note. Memo to all personnel of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Project Special Guard detail. In recent years, there's been a noticeable increase in the number of attempts to breach our defenses by spies and enemy agents belonging to the previously uncommon demographics, women, old people, teenagers. This serves to prove the utmost efficiency in the special details defense effort, leaving the enemies no chance of ever achieving their goal of mapping our defense perimeter and carrying out a sabotage of employing standard tactics. For that reason, all members of Special Guard detail personnel must carry out their duties responsibly and never falter in applying the special measures to any and all enemy agents detained remember the enemy is resourceful and deceitful the enemy is desperate enough as to throw the last reserves into battle still the enemy resources are still vast and cornered rat is only more dangerous defense council so that's so this is such a big plot twist for the metro universe because until now we've always thought the people living underground in the metro tunnels in moscow were the last surviving humans in the entire planet after world war three now we're learning that there's other governments around the world that are still operational and all of them are still at war trying to kill each other which is insane world war three is still going on even though most of the world is dead which is insane and that's so interesting, especially for... I don't think I've ever seen that in an apocalypse scenario before. So that's like some really good storytelling. That's a very uh, original idea that even after the bombs fell, there's still little blips of governments around the world that are still trying to kill each other. World War Three is still going on 20 years after the bombs have fell, which is really cool. Okay, let's keep going. Oh shit. What the hell? We have to get closer. If you get closer, I'll distract them while you rescue the old man. Well shit, which way do I go? Artyom, try going down that ladder ahead. Just be careful. You got it. him out and not kill him. Check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? They just had to attack now, these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already. That's fucking crazy. I know the plot of this game is really good. Like, I've never heard of that in an apocalypse scenario before. Like, that's a really original idea. That's really cool. World War Three still going on, even after the apocalypse. Group D, redeploy to the generator room. What up, boy? I knocked the helmet clean off him. <laughs> Whoops. I just want the ammo. What up, your mark? Let's get you out of here. We just smash that shit with our hands? Oh, babe, what up? Thank you. All right. 
We don't have much time. We're hijacking this train, baby. Let's go. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. That sounds like they're already coming, baby. Is that health? Looks like syringes. Poke your fucking head out. Ooh, let's go, baby. Hang on, I I'm looting ammo. <laughs> Whatever. Here we go. Oh, am I full on ammo? I'm full on ammo. What the hell? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Did I just die? Holy shit! I am playing on hardcore, so I guess that makes sense. Hang on, now I really gotta loot. Hang on, bitch! Now I'm full on ammo, damn it. Okay, where should I chill? Probably like back here. Shit, what was that? What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Anna! Oh, I, I let go. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah, it was. Are you okay? Yeah, we're not out of this yet, though. Wait, how come she gets a laser sight? Yeah, man. Just a little. More! Push it! Come on! Yes. Uh, train's leaving. Way ahead of you. What's up, baby?
Yeah! Uh, is that... Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Miller knew. No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities dead. All of them, women, children. I'll tell you all later. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not not us. Who? 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 <laughs> All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. I like how they showed his legs too. Let's catch them there. When we were laying down, it showed his legs, and I instantly knew that was Miller, so because so that like that goes with the cannon lore. That's pretty cool. And we were none the wiser. How perfect of them. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed too. That's why Miller never wanted us going to the surface. He wasn't worried about our safety. He was worried we were going to find out the truth. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Get down! Under the tables! That was just a warning. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you are hoping How is for? this his fault? You knew everything and never said it. Shit! Stop the engine immediately! Oh fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, yes. Uh, but I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Yamak, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah! Yes, finally, some good stuff! Now! Alright, baby. You got it. I'm a badass. Let me do it. 
Here we go, baby. Funke, Funke, Froka. Sneaking around a freight train, gonna do some crazy shit, gonna blow it up. Oh shit, I, I, I died. Um, hardcore, uh, <laughs> one bullet kills me. <laughs> shit. Should I, I should just try to sneak past these guys then, huh? Ah, oh, fuck, dude. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to sneak past that. What's up, Vanilla? This is the new one, Litho, yes. Killed that guy when he surrendered, whoops. We going, baby! Yeah, come on, baby, come on! Come on, baby. Yeah, ye. Uh. Hold on. Thanks, Duke. Sayonara, motherfuckers. Wifey! Okay. She's so pretty. Now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. Well, I mean, they were gonna kill us anyway. I don't, I don't know what you wanted. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. 
The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Here we go, baby. So I like how it says winter because I know that this entire game is going to take place over the course of a year and we're going to go through every single season. So it says winter right there and it's going to change as we go along. Look at the hair on my arms. Holy shit. The game is around 15 hours long. Is this game any good? Dude, this game is amazing. Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least. You owe us that. Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot out the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. I got something. Wait a moment, what was that? From the Ark Project base. Everyone who can hear me. Everyone still loyal to the cause. Listen, everyone. Rally point location is code 1811-79. Area 1-8-5. Where was that rally number point. supposed rally to point location is called Got it. One, eight, one, so it is somewhere seven, around nine. here. Every one, mountain. Eight, so the route from five. here should Only go by standing uh, together. like Shall this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new yes! Mother of Russia! Yeah. yeah! Are there any single women in that place? What the fuck? <laughs> so I think the moment calls for... Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, that thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
It's not a short trip to the Uros, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell! <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on! About Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Aurora. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to yeah. Aurora. Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full steam ahead. Wow, oh, that's, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an what? Oh, okay. Whoops. After all I didn't mean to do that. In the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they, while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? <laughs> 